Hello everyone. Welcome to the Blockchain News Club. Let's take a brief intro into today's crypto updates before going into the details. Rostin Bainham, the chairman of the Commodity Futures Trading Commission, says certain regulations are needed to prevent huge losses in the crypto market and to maintain users' safety. Prominent blockchain tracker company Whale Alert spreads the word about transfers from two unidentified wallets that moved nearly 400 million XRP over the past 19 hours. David Schwartz, Ripple's CTO, has responded to a recent proposal for an XRP buyback program, calling it a scam. Ripple was one of the most ambitious projects in the blockchain and cryptocurrency ecosystem. We will look at all the developments related to the project, the news of the last period related to Ripple XRP. Patrick L. Riley, CEO of Reaper Financial and Chairman of the Block Oversight Committee, seems to be making the boldest call on the XRP price. Riley believes XRP might be worth a million US dollars by the year 2030. Before we dive deep into today's updates, please subscribe to our Blockchain News Club channel. It will help us immensely. Strict guidelines are needed on digital assets says CFTC Chairman. US legislators said that they desired additional controls on crypto assets to address impending crypto crashes. The Democrats in the U.S. believe that stablecoin and crypto asset rules would aid in the growth of the U.S. crypto sector as the nation moved towards the crypto world. The Commodity Futures Trading Commission's head, Rostin Bainham, claims that specific restrictions are necessary to guarantee user safety and stop significant losses in the cryptocurrency market. On crypto assets that aren't securities, he said, there would need to be explicit regulation. The crypto market in 2022, according to Bayman, was unstable. Due to FTX, Terra, and Celsius Network's abrupt collapses at the end of the year, investors and cryptocurrency users saw the worst bear markets. The CFTC chairman previously stated that Ledgerx from FTX Group was an illustration of how regulating the cryptocurrency industry will protect crypto investors in December 2022. Many public reports show that segregation and client security problems at the bankrupt FTX firms resulted in enormous amounts of FTX customer cash being plundered by Almeida for its proprietary trading the chairman of the CFTC said. However, the CFTC-regulated company Ledgerx has kept customer property exactly where it belongs, securely separated. Regulation is in operation here. The crypto market was shook to its core last year, on numerous different fronts, Bayman stated in a recent news conference. In my opinion, bankruptcies, failures, and runs only serve to confirm the necessity of taking action. There must be extensive legislation because the ecosystem is large and will not disappear. There is a new Congress, he continued, and I will continue to engage and provide technical support to develop legislation, as requested. It is vital that our financial watchdogs investigate into what caused FTX's collapse so we can fully understand the malfeasance and abuses that took place, said Sherrod Brown, chairman of the Senate Banking Committee, in December 2022. I'll keep collaborating with them to penalize dishonest traders in the cryptocurrency markets. U.S. lawmakers drafting new regulations on crypto assets. United States politicians have accelerated the process of creating new laws on crypto assets in the wake of the FTX meltdown. The Securities and Exchange Commission and U.S. federal courts both view cryptocurrencies as commodities, according to U.S. Senator from Arkansas John Boozman in December. John suggested that the cryptocurrency industry be regulated by the Commodity Futures Trading Commission. To give the crypto rules additional authority, Boozman and other U.S. senators presented the Digital Commodities Consumer Protection Act in August. The U.S. government introduced three measures in 2022 to establish the CFTC as the principal regulator of the cryptocurrency industry. In response to the DPA, Senator Boozman said, Our bill will empower the CFTC with exclusive jurisdiction over the spot market for digital commodities, leading to additional consumer safeguards, market integrity, and innovation in the digital commodities field. We now have three separate legislation, the Loomis-Gillibrand Bill, the House Bill, and the Digital Commodity Exchange Act that all say CFTC is the place to go, said Kristen Smith, executive director of the Blockchain Association. Ripple shifts close to 400 million XRP, here's what's happening. Whale Alert, a well-known blockchain tracking organization, announces movements from two anonymous wallets that moved approximately 400 million XRP in the last 19 hours. The blockchain behemoth Ripple Labs was responsible for moving these two chunks of XRP, according to a closer examination of the analytics data. A withdrawal from Binance was among the considerably smaller transfers, totaling about 113 million XRP, that took place between wallets linked to prominent exchanges. 
two transactions, involving 189 million and 205 million 500,000 XRP valued $75,552,320 and 81 million dollars respectively, were described in detail by Whale Alert. The wallets labeled by the aforementioned tracker as unknown are related to Ripple, therefore both transfers were conducted by the DLT crypto behemoth that is now engaged in legal conflict with the SEC, according to Bathomp XRP-focused analytics sites. The transfer of 189 million XRP to a Bittrex wallet may indicate that Ripple opted to sell this significant quantity of XRP currency. The second exchange took place inside between two Ripple-connected wallets. This is not the first time this month that Ripple has shifted a sizable number of XRP tokens. The crypto juggernaut took billion XRP out of escrow on February 1 in three steps. Following that, 700 million tokens were once more locked until a later withdrawal. Additionally, 300 million XRP were released onto the cryptocurrency market. Whale Alert also noted three further XRP transactions that contained 40 million, 41 million, and 32 million XRP. The first two, totaling 113 million XRP, were sent from an anonymous wallet to Bitstamp then withdrawn from the Bitso exchange. Additionally, an unidentified whale took 32 million XRP off of the Binance exchange. These three transfers added up to $45.1 million in total. Ripple CTO claims XRP buyback program is a scam. In response to a recent proposal for an XRP buyback program, David Schwartz, the chief technology officer of Ripple, called it a scam. I haven't given it a close examination. But from what I've seen, it seems very much like a con. Anyone offering great returns with low risk is almost surely going to rob you, if 2012 and 2022 have taught us anything tweeted he. Jimmy Vallee, the managing director of Valho Capital, proposed the crazy idea in 2021. Vallee contends that XRP has the potential to replace the dollar as the global reserve currency and advises that governments maintain significant amounts of the cryptocurrency to encourage retail buybacks. Based on worldwide wealth and the entire supply of XRP, Valet provides a fixed buyback rate of $37,500 per token. Following Valet's interview with Clever Hummingbird, the absurd XRP buyback notion recently resurfaced as a popular subject among the community. Influencers for XRP, including Crypto Erie, have harshly slammed the phony transaction that seemed too good to be true. Furthermore, Valet's XRP buyback request has been formally rejected by lawyer John E. Deaton who was referred to in the proposed conditions as allegedly getting compensation for his participation in the U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission's complaint against Ripple. Deaton has made it clear that he would not accept payment for his work on the Ripple and LBRY cases, and he has promised to continue doing so until he submits an appearance on behalf of a corporation that the SEC is suing. Investors should exercise caution and carefully consider all investment options in light of recent changes, especially those that offer huge returns with low risk. The newest instance of a clear cryptocurrency fraud is the repurchase plan for XRP. All the news about the future of Ripple and XRP. Ripple is hardly the newest player in the cryptosphere. One of the most challenging initiatives in the blockchain and cryptocurrency ecosystem was Ripple. It was created in 2013 in San Francisco, California, at Ripple Labs. Jed McCaleb and Chris Larson established the project with the intention of eliminating all of Bitcoin's flaws. The project's network and all of its components are among its most fascinating features. Even though it has been up against the SEC for years, the initiative keeps developing and getting better. Ripple's system is always undergoing fresh innovations, investments, and enhancements. As the legal dispute draws to a close, Ripple, its founders, and its enduring community are welcoming fresh suggestions for the future. Ripple XRP and the investment on NFTs Investing in and innovating for the blockchain sector has always been one of Ripple's objectives. Ripple's investments have altered significantly since the introduction of NFTs, leaning more towards this developing industry. As we all know, the NFT sector began on the blockchain with digital art and later grew to include music, fashion, and other forms of creative expression. Being well prepared, Ripple is making multi-million dollar investments to encourage the growth of the non-fungible token market now that it is in the spotlight. A $250 million fund has been established for NFT developers by Ripple Labs Incorporated, the private business behind the Ripple protocol. The XRP Ledger, a smart contract platform created for NFT creators, will receive collections from creators. The two merits of XRP Ledger are its quick and incredibly inexpensive transactions. Ripple wants to fully participate in NFT projects and work with the best in the field. The founders are attempting to land on the finest expanding fields in order for the Ripple ecosystem to expand. Ripple buyback theory is debunked. 
The XRP buyback theory, which Jimmy Vallee first proposed in 2021, has recently come up for discussion again. In a nutshell, the theory is founded on the claim that XRP might replace dollars as the world's reserve currency. The existing financial system is burdened with unmanageable debt totaling trillions of dollars, particularly in the United States where the dollar serves as the global reserve currency. Theoretically, XRP may be an asset as the world economies move swiftly towards a new financial system. This might be accomplished by acquiring the XRP supply on the secondary market. The price of XRP should be regulated in order to maintain market stability. This indicates that XRP's market capitalization should consequently reach quadrillions of dollars if it represents all of the world's wealth. However, everyone associated with Ripple has categorically refuted this hypothesis, including John E. Deaton, one of the attorneys representing Ripple in its legal battle with the SEC. Jimmy Vallee's theory has also drawn criticism from Matt Hamilton, the former director of developer relations at Ripple, who even referred to him as a false character. Community pushes Ripple toward new listing on Coinbase. We are all aware of the strength of the Ripple community, which has long spoken out in support of its initiative. This time, it criticized Coinbase for long since removing Ripple from its list. The community encouraged Coinbase to add Ripple on the exchange once more following its several victories in its legal battle with the SEC. For the time being, Coinbase will think about waiting before listing the virtual asset once more. Nobody has compelled the American exchange to delist Ripple, as we already know. Ripple will undoubtedly experience fresh advancements as a result of the lawsuit's resolution against the SEC, and it may even relist on Coinbase's exchange. XRP's most surprising prediction made by Reaper Financial CEO. The Block Oversight Committee's chairman and CEO of Reaper Financial, Patrick L. Riley, appears to be making the riskiest prediction on the XRP price. Riley thinks XRP might be worth a million dollars by the year 2030, even though most XRP estimates indicate its price would rise to $1,000, five figures, or even as high as $588,000. In response to a reader query on what would be worth $1 million in 2030, the CEO of Reaper Financial cited ARK's Kathy Wood Bitcoin price forecast. To XRP, Riley said. One of Kathy Wood's ARK Invest's most audacious predictions is still on track. During the course of the next 10 years, the price of a single Bitcoin will surpass $1 million. With a pessimistic case of $258,500 and a base scenario of $682,800, the company's most optimistic projection is that Bitcoin will reach $1.48 million in 2030. While the predicted $1 million level represents an increase of over 4,200% from Bitcoin's current level of $22,900, XRP may need to rise by nearly 400 million percent from its current price of $0.397 to reach the $1 million threshold. This suggests that XRP has a long way to go before reaching this goal and may cast doubt on the projection. The SEC has accused Ripple of selling XRP worth $1.3 billion in an unregistered security offering, and the two parties are currently engaged in court proceedings. Many are anticipating the result, which they feel will offer clarity to the cryptocurrency market and have an impact on the price of XRP. Reaper Financial entered the case by submitting an amicus curiae brief in Ripple's defense. As previously reported, John Deaton, the creator of crypto law and a supporter of the blockchain, believes XRP will still be around in five years since it has proven to be resilient. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to our channel for regular updates in the blockchain community.